How's it going guys? So as you can see behind me here, I've recently built a full size arcade and I've got a 32 inch screen, a powerful gaming computer, and it's a lot of fun. But I started thinking, you know, what if you don't have room for a 32 inch uh, arcade or a gaming computer that you sink a lot of money into and you just want something to play the old arcade games like Donkey Kong, Joust, uh, all the way up to like Mortal Kombat even, or SNES, NES, you know, those type of games and you're on a budget. So this is what I came up with. It is the X-Arcade dual joystick, and I've mounted a Raspberry Pi in it. And I've run off the cabling and wired it up so that all you have to do, I don't know if you can see this very well or not, is hook up an HDMI cable to your TV, and if your TV has a USB port, uh, or you could use a phone charger, whatever, to power it, and that's it. Instant portable arcade. And it'll play everything, uh, from arcade to Nintendo, Super Nintendo, the Genesis, uh, 32X. If you got a bigger memory card in there, you might be able to pull off like PlayStation-ish, but uh, you might want to go for a stronger, you know, Raspberry Pi 3 or something of that nature instead of the Zero. But uh, what's great about the Zero, it's a very compact little unit, so it fits in this very well. But uh, let me hook it up and I'll show you how it works. Okay guys, so here it is booted up. Uh, as you can see, I've got Super Nintendo. It comes with the old Doom. This is running uh, Recall Box, by the way. Arcade, the old Sega Master System, the 32X, the uh, Mega Drive, which is also the Genesis here in America. But uh, anyway, let's uh, load something up here. Let's go with... Do the old 1943. Okay. Put some coins in and play. And you can rebind any of the buttons the way you want. I've got it set up to the default that it comes with for right now. But as you can see, it works pretty good. You can pack this up and take it with you if you're going to somebody's house for a holiday or for a party. Instant arcade. Anyway, you get the idea. To get out of the game, you just hold the side button and hit player one. And you're back at the menus. Go the old Nintendo. We're gonna skip down to Super Mario. There we go, Super Mario Brothers. And I'm officially back in 1985 again. I remember playing this as a little kid and my brother knew how to do the uh, duck jump and get 100 lives. And he'd play forever while I sat there and watched him, of course. Can you tell it's been a while since I played this? Huh. So anyway, there you have it. A uh, full-on arcade experience and uh, retro classics in one little unit. Uh, both sides work, it's two players, and it's a lot of fun. Let me know if you have any questions.